We're good? Okay, hello everybody. This is 3D Natives. We're live at Formnext 2019. So as you can see, there are a lot of people, a lot of booths, and we will take you to the ale of the show to see the 3D printing innovation. So machine, application, post-processing, everything you need to know. For this year, we have 50,000 square meter of exhibition show, which is huge. You know, last year was 37,000 meter square, which shows that the show is amazing. It's growing, and we have a lot of actors in the field of additive manufacturing. So please come and follow me. We will stop by our first booth, which is Rise. Um, I don't know if you know them. They're a 3D printer manufacturer, color. A 3D printer manufacturer, and I'm with the CEO of Rise. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very good. How's Form Next? Oh, amazing. It's very busy, I'm guessing. Very busy. I, I ran out of all my cards already. Oh, really? Well, that's a good the news. <laughs> On the second day. Well, that's great. Um, can we do a little, you know, quick tour of your booth, and you can show us uh, your printer, your technology, and maybe some colored 3D printed pieces? Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. So. You want me to hold this? Yeah, take the oh, mic. That's okay. So first of all, let me tell you the difference between Rise and every other company here. Okay, how many yep. companies here? Do you have a sense? Uh, I think there are more like 750, something like 750. that. 750. So the okay. difference between the 750 and Rise is that every company here focuses on the part. So they want to show great parts, mm -hmm. right? They want to show all kinds of parts and they want to show how great those parts are. We are focused on the part, mm -hmm. and we are also focused on the person. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we want industrial 3D printing. You'll see that there. Industrial 3D printing for all. We want it to be easy, mm -hmm. and we want it to be safe. Okay. Okay, and that's how we've got... We are the first and only 3D printing company in the world to get a UL2904 certification for safety. So you'll see that on the top there, the Green Guard certification, right there, that one there, okay? And that certification is the first, we are the first 3D printing company in the world to get that. Okay, okay? what's that certification about? That certification is to keep you alive for a long time. Okay which means that it takes care of all, it shows that this printer has no emissions. Mm -hmm. It has no emissions from uh, VOC, volatile organic compounds, and it does not have any ultrafine particles. Okay. And the shocking fact is that most 3D printers have those. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the first. The second thing is the ease of use. So any of you here, if you want to get trained on our printer, in 15 minutes, we'll make you an expert. 15? Oh, that's fine. 1.5. We need 15 minutes. So we'll show you how to operate an industrial 3D printer and get industrial parts. Okay. Okay. The second thing is, if you want to bring this closer, is that we print the part, but we also print on the part information. So we make what are called intelligent parts. These parts can talk to you. you. All you need is your QR reader and it'll tell you all about itself. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so oh, it's I a talking part. Ready. Okay. Okay? And the way we achieve it is we achieve it by taking the filament process, which yeah. has been around for a long time, and combining it with an ink jetting process. Okay. So that's the difference between us and many others, which is we've created this whole hybrid technology. So you have like two technologies in one two technologies in one so this is the next generation of the fused filament fabrication process and what you see here is we do it in full color so you see the color just like you have two in your 2d printers color so we bring full color and on the same printer we are able to print big industrial parts as well as full color models. Nice, the details are amazing. Yes. 
this is a brain stem okay you can see the level of detail on this okay so the whole idea is we want 3d printing to be done by different users end users anyone we don't want necessarily this to be only the job of experts we want it to be done by people who are non experts we want it to be done in any kind of environment it could be an office environment an industrial environment it should be safe enough to be done anywhere okay and we want it to be intelligent parts okay and can you tell us more maybe about uh, you know po the post processing of your parts like zero post processing zero, nothing nothing okay there's no concept of post processing for us so let me just check whether i can get you a part to show yeah. you do you have a part which uh, so i will show you post processing i'll make you a post processing expert as well okay <laughs> but you'll have you'll need about 30 seconds for it or maybe okay, less seconds. let's go <laughs> that's the max you need okay okay <laughs> there it is okay so this is a part yeah that has come out of the printer okay mm -hmm. and these are the supports okay? okay this is what is called the raft which basically holds the part on the build plate and these are the supports okay, okay. so now you will remove them no first first remove the this one this one no no the bottom one oh yeah that's okay. it okay and then you just squeeze this that's it And then one, one more, one oh, more. One more. That may need, need a small nail of yours. Oh yeah, here. Yeah, just pull that out. Uh, just. Okay. There that's you go. it. And you feel the surfaces? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, 30 seconds. Done. Great. Post processing <laughs> done. Congratulations. Thank you. You're already much. an expert. <laughs> okay, so that's that's well, that's the technology. Okay, super. So the whole idea is uh, to make all kinds of parts. These are a few toys. Yeah, you have uh, here. This is interesting because what I want to show you here is watch the tongue. Mm -hmm. This cannot be done on any other FDM based technology because to print the tongue and to really create supports for that is very, very hard. So I hope it's interesting for your viewers. Yeah, I'm sure it is. What yeah. else can I tell you? Thank you very much. Well, we're already experts in post-processing, so I think we're good. And if you come back, we'll make you experts on operating yeah, the machine yeah. as well sometime. Okay? I'll come back tomorrow, definitely. Great, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Have thank a nice you. day. Have a nice show. Bye. Okay, guys, I hope you followed this because 30 seconds to be an expert in post-processing, that's pretty amazing. And I hope that you watched the dinosaur. It was quite amazing. So uh, we will continue our little tour. Uh, I want to see this French 3D printing service, which is called AirPro. Um, I think they have a lot of interesting projects to show us. But uh, in the meantime, you can see, you know, the ambiance of the show and all the people that there is. It's really, really crowded, you know? It's only the second day and there are like a lot of participants. They're expecting more than 35,000, I think, this year. So if you follow me, we're gonna see the French 3D printing service, if they are available, of course. Let's go. I'll try not to go on someone. Let's check. I'm not sure they are available. Okay, so this is Alpro's booth. You can see the, the motorbike. Um, I'm going to check with Yuan if they're available or not. Hello, is this the right time for you, Yuan? Yes, yes? nice to meet you. Nice. Maybe you can present yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Yuan. I am in charge of the communication of uh, Alpro Group. Can you remind us briefly what Alpro is? Alpro is a company uh, based in France, and we are specialists in the 3D uh, 3D printing, and we are made uh, 3D parts with hard technology uh, who, who can see here. Yeah, I think that you have a lot of uh, machines and a lot of technology, including metal, right? Yes, you uh, like uh, metal like this. Uh, in 
Uh, today, in uh, this uh, show, in Formnext, we uh, present this uh, new motorbike uh, prints with different parts in 3D, pr 3D uh, printing. Um, Can you maybe remind us how many parts there are that were 3D printed, uh, approximately? Uh, approximately, there are 20 parts. Uh, oh, 20, okay. And you used, uh, I think, three or four different technologies, right? Yes, uh, four or five technologies. You can see carbon technology, you can see EOS, you can see HP technology. Okay, that's pretty cool. If you had to, if we had to zoom on one specific part, what would you say it would be? Uh, I remember that this one was quite complex, right? Yeah, this one is uh, super cool. It's for that we have made this one too. So, yes. Oh, that's pretty amazing. I don't know if you can all see that, but uh, the result is. Yeah, quite good. So it's named Cara, and I think it's a collaboration with uh, Viba? Yes, of course. Uh, so for make this motorbike, we have uh, in collaboration with, uh, with Viba. Viba is an agency of design and uh, who would make the draw of the motorbike. Okay, cool. I think you have uh, other cool projects to show us. Uh, maybe like... Um, uh, my Fit Solution, yes. It's uh, My Fit Solution. Yeah. It's uh, so it's um, how do you say it in English? Sorry, it's, it's uh, like a cover for headphones, right? You yes, can put right. them. Uh, yeah. Yes. So it's uh, with these guys, Xavier, the CEO of uh, MyFit Solution. We have uh, collab It's a collaboration with uh, for make uh, air, for make uh, air belt tips, and so if uh, made with the technology of carbon. Okay. So it's like a very you know very flexible. I don't know if you can see. It's made out of, uh, like, yeah. So you put them uh, above the, the headphones so that you can have, like, maximum comfort, right? Yes, yeah, right. So right. it's really personalized to... Uh, it's a large series, but uh, customers with uh, personalization. Okay, cool. Do you have uh, another project uh, to show us, uh, maybe? Yes, for Chanel. Yeah, the with famous uh, mascara. It's a mascara brush. With, uh, we have famous uh, Apple Group with the large series mascara. But now we work with uh, another uh, company, with Albea, for other brush mascara. Okay, and what's the benefit here of 3D printing these little brushes? Uh, the cost, uh, the, the time of production. It's, uh, and so how many can you produce, like in a row? It's, so I, I'm we guess have, um, for example, we have 11 machines. And with one machine, we can produce uh, 7,000 uh, brush of mascara. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. I can, you know, show it to you. Can I? Yeah. A bit closer. I'm sure this is great for all women. <laughs> I'll try it, definitely. I want to buy one. Not just a mum. Uh, it's okay, you can buy it. <laughs> cool. And do you have something else, uh, Yuan, you want to show us? Uh, I know that this piece was really, this one here, was uh, made with uh, so for, for this one, we uh, work with Socaris, uh, who has a company in France, and it's uh, for the topologi topological optimization. Okay, so it's just a, uh, a piece for this show. It's a, it's a prototype, so it's yeah. not a functional piece. Yeah, to show how we can like reduce the material and the weight and yes, increase the performance. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Well. Tell me more, Yuan. <laughs> Do you yeah, want yeah. to show me something? Yep. Uh, it's pretty. M let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> okay. So uh, this uh, object, it's object for strategy, mm -hmm. because today, no, it was yesterday. Uh, Apple Group announced uh, a new collaboration with uh, strategy. Yeah because we have uh, a new machine uh, in Apple Group, the G850. Oh yeah, the new and machine. this okay. one for color piece, and this it's an amazing machine. Yeah, you can, I think you can produce like transparent pieces yeah. with it? Like, like this. Mm, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can zoom in. Yes. Wow, the result is incredible. Yeah, so OK, good. The last uh, month, the, this bag. Like this. <laughs> that would be cool, yeah. Definitely. It's the project. Okay, okay, it's the project. Well, 
I hope to see you in a month, actually, to see the this Cara project with transparent and colorful pieces. That's great. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, uh, thank you very much, Johan, for your time, and uh, have a nice show. Bye. Okay, let's go. We stop? Okay, no, sorry. <laughs> okay, seems to... Okay, okay. So, uh, guys, we're just gonna stop for a few minutes now because uh, apparently uh, there's like a little technical problem. So we will come back later for another live, uh, which will be actually better. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.